Hi everyone, today I want to show you a Conklin pen. That is the Conklin All-American. Um, I've had this pen for almost two years and I don't think it's ever shown up in a video. So I thought I would do a video about it um, and um, tell you a bit about how I got it, what I think about it, um, and whether I like it or not. Um, let's go switch a shot and see up close what this pen is all about. Okay, here we are with the Conklin All-American in the finish, Old Glory. And I'm going to show you with the light on and with the light off, um, because this finish, I think it looks better without the really harsh light of the ring light. Um, but yeah, we're still somewhat in winter here, and non-artificial lighting um, filming is not great. Anyway, here we are, Old Glory. So this, this pen has many different colors, but the red and the dark blue are most noticeable together with the white, but then next to the whites, there are parts that are slightly yellow and orangey, and there's the really light blue section right here, and it is a lovely finish. There's like a depth to it, which I really like. Then right here, there's an engraving that says, um, Conklin, um, well, made Conklin All-America, Toledo, blah, 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 All-American, Old Glory. Um, that's what it says on here. It's really hard to see. Um, also really hard to read for me, even. But yeah. And it, it's a fairly thick pen. So it's not necessarily really huge, but it's fairly thick. The clip sets Conklin. And um, you can... But you can push it, push it and then it goes up. Um, it's fairly firm, uh, but it works. And this is a screw cap pen. Most of my Conklin's are actually um, Duragraphs and not these, um, but I like the feel of these much more. And um, this is a cigar shape and the Duragraph is a flat top, so there's definitely a difference. This is more expensive. I think in Europe it's uh, 95 euros, uh, but I bought it on sale. Um, let's quickly turn off the light, see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's fairly dark. Um, as you can see, the colors look a little bit more muted now, but still a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of this finish. I'm turning back on the light. There we go. So yeah, it's it's a lovely looking pen. Uh, nib, so it's a screw cap, so you unscrew, and then you show the nib, and it's, it's their standard steel nib with the crescent on it, which I love. Um, it is a two-tone nib, but only the Conklin like logo is gold, so it's very minimally two-tone. Um, and I have to say, this is a fine nib. I am not a big fan of Conklin nibs. Um, I'll do a writing sample in a little bit for you guys, but they are, in my general experience, very dry. Um, there is a converter in here. I like their converters. Um, I like the converters more than the nibs. Uh, they're screw-in converters. I don't know why I like that so much, because I, it's not really that different from a just pushing converter, but yeah, they're screwing converters. I'm not taking it out because it's full of ink, but somehow that makes me happy. Um, and the pens come with a converter, which is also good. Yep. Um, posting, I've never tried it. Possible, but I would say not recommended. It feels very back heavy. It becomes very long, um, and it's not, it's not something I would do. Unposted, this is the length in my hands. Of course, I don't really have big hands. I have sausage fingers, but not big hands. Um, but it's a good length. I don't think anyone would struggle with this, um, using it like this. It's long enough for regular use. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can do the writing sample. So these nibs are super dry. Um, and, of course, I've tried to work on them a little bit. I just need to deepen the nib channel or just switch the nibs because I have Nemesis nibs that can go on here. Of course, I just let it dry out because I had it uncapped for a while. But 
<laughs> it even does that with the cap on it. Um, so this ink is Diamine November Rain, which I love. It's like a sheeny green, like a foresty green. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't really behave very well in this pen. This is a fine nib, by the way. So it's a Conklin. Wow. All American, fine nib, finish is old glory. Um, and so nib dry. If you if you like work it a little bit, it gets better. Um, I would not say it's super flexible, but it's also not the stiffest nib I own. Um, but I would prefer a different nib on this. Why I like this pen? So, I got this pen when um, me and my current fiance had like our first meetup thingy. Um, and I have good memories of it. We went to Arkhamon in Amsterdam, not the Hague, uh, different companies. Um, and I got this pen. And it was such a nice day together in Amsterdam, just being tourists there, that... I have good memories of this pen. I wish the nib was better, but like I can overcome that. Um, yeah, I forgive that right now. Also, I can just change it out if I want to. Um, but for like, I have a sentimental star, a story for this. If you're looking for a pen, a Conklin, um, try out the nib first if you can. Um, if you don't mind drier nibs, I would say go for it. Um, because the finishes are fun. Um, but if you like gushers, um, like me, I don't think Conklin is the company to go with, honestly. Yeah. Fun, fun looking pens, nibs, not to my taste. Anyway, short video today, but I hope this was informative. And if you have any questions, please leave me them down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.